What's happening guys? Welcome to the channel. Coach Matt here today to give you a tip to help you get rid of that flip. I'm a rhymer, I'm a rapper, what can I say? Before I give you a tip though, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below what you wanna see more of. What are you working on? What are you trying to fix? I'm here to help. Today's tip, we're trying to put together the anti-flip. There's a couple things that's going on of why the club head's accelerating too fast, and I'm here to show you how we're gonna fix it with this awesome little punch shot drill that will change your world. Let's get to work. So let's figure out what causes the flip, right? So we know that it's the club head getting past the hands. Well, what are your hands doing that's producing this, right? There's a way we use the handle of the club, when I say handle, I'm referring to the grip, that allows us to apply pressure in a way that we can either be desired or not desired. And there's certain ways you have to apply pressure into the grip and twist it, throw it, and pull it at right places at right times. Now, simply put, in order to make this club head go forward, right, the club head has to fall forward, so this right hand has to be pushing it, and the left hand has to be pushing it, and they're fighting against each other, creating this. So when I do that, that's how I get a flip. Now I can add some twists, I'm going to be pulling up on it at the same time. I can make some goofy things happen, but for the most part, this left hand isn't strong enough. It breaks down too soon. Right hand over dominates. Now, as for a right handed golfer, there's lefties out there just for flipping it around. Okay? So, how do we fix it? Well, there's a couple things we want to understand first, right? So, first things first, take your club, lead grip, so glove hand, and go right hand, or sorry, go right thigh to left thigh back and forth. Now, what you'll notice is that doesn't take the club head out to the ball, right? And actually what it's gonna do is probably lead us into a little bit of shank land. Now, watch this. If I go right thigh to left thigh, but with twist, and I can either pull with my upper body, I can pull with more lower body, and I can start to generate some rotational facet around my body either way, where I feel that handle going behind me and up, that starts to put the club head out to the golf ball. This does not. So we have to be able to do that. Now, here's where it can get interesting. I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna be good at this, but we're gonna give it a run, because I don't work on this hardly ever, because this is the last of my problems. But <clears throat> go to left hand, right thigh, shaft parallel minimal upswing, so very, very minimal. Le the least you can do, the better. Get your hit. Now, I did that pretty good, but if I did it poorly, and if you're not strong at getting the club to go forward, what you would find is you will give it one of these. And that's where we gotta break the habit. Now, the issue is there could be some strength problems here. That could definitely play a factor. I'm using a nine iron. So don't go crazy, don't be hitting four irons doing this. But it could also just be an intention problem. Your brain might be trying to tell you, get club to the ground, get club to the ground. Understood. But let the club fall out of your hand as your hand tries to go to the left. So if I feel like the club's falling to the ground as I try to make my hand go to the left towards the screen, I can now get a more desirable strike into the hit. So if we can do it one-handed, I mean, I'm hitting that all of a grand total of six yards, so this is chip shot stuff. <clears throat> now, go two-handed, same principle here. So remember, we're not sliding across body. When you put that right hand on, you'll realize how wrong that feels. Right hand on, turn to hit, stop as fast as possible. So we're here with a very, very short abbreviated follow through. <clears throat> the only thing I ask is if you're a habitual flipper, give it as much past your left leg as you can go when you hit the ball in this drill. Not in real life, don't conflate the two in this drill. You want that left hand to get past your body prior to the hit. So you can set up an alignment stick about six inches or so past your leg, kind of high because we don't want to shish kebab our hand. 
you stick it in the ground and then now what you're trying to do is feel that stick as your hit right pop and now you know if you get in there and you wrap that thing around the alignment stick no bueno but if you can get it a hit and get it to stop so again we're about six inches eight inches past my leg right and get everything to stop and it lines up you're in business if you come in and go this way at it because you're scared you got problems so don't be afraid to hit the stick if you'd rather you can have a friend hold a noodle that all works too again disclaimer if you shish bob your hand it's not on me it's on you but get set and just go from shaft parallel to the shortest follow through you can give me then take it to left arm parallel so let the coach get set up here left arm parallel shortest follow through you can give me and see how that starts to produce a contact that might feel different record it from face on you should see different dynamics through the hit see how far of a swing can you make with that pause stop to get yourself to a good post impact position without the flip involved and that should be the size swing you should be able to make on the golf course without worrying about flipping it into the hit so i hope this tip helps it was a quick fast hitter i know you enjoy them make sure you like and comment below what more you want me to fix for your game as we head into our 22-3. Ooh, and we head into our 23 season. Until next time, gang. Out.